Welcome to I Don't Work Here, Lady. We're going to be going through some stories about taking it to the men's room, play acting getting fired, plus being blind, or just plain stupid. Hope you guys enjoy. Without further ado, let's get started. Old Blue. Oh, how I love you. Well, I guess that's where I had the most fun. This past afternoon, I headed out to Big Old Blue. I was going out to do a little bit of grocery shopping. Over the past couple of months, they've been redoing the store. Stripping the floors, repainting things, and they were moving almost everything. So as I look for what I need, I run into a coworker. He also works on the weekends at the Big Old Blue. So we started chatting. I asked him where a few things were they were moved. After we talked for a little bit, I run off to the aisle to find what I need. Coincidentally, on my way there, I run into another coworker. They just got out of church, which is important for later. So we chat too. After that, I go to the next aisle. Then it happens. As I'm going down the aisle, this five foot nothing, 250 pound plus woman, short blonde hair with black roots, comes a Karen. With my history with Karens, I wanted to avoid her like the plague. Although she was right where I needed to be, and I was all in red, so I thought I'd be okay. But no, here she comes. Excuse me, sir. Oh, f I thought in my head. Do you know where the boxes of brown sugar are? I see the bags right there, but I don't see any of the boxes. Sorry. Well, can you look in the back? I'm sorry, ma'am, but I don't work here. Yes, you do. I saw you talking to that employee and that manager. Manager? Oh, you mean the guy that I was just talking to? Yeah, he just came out of church. Can you just go in the back and look? Sorry, ma'am, I can't. I don't work here. That's when my buddy comes around the corner. Your worker here is so rude. He won't go and look in the back for the boxes of brown sugar. My buddy's pretty quick on his feet, so he starts playing along with her. Oh, is he now? Yes. Why didn't you help this woman? It's my day off. I'm not doing a damn thing. How dare you talk to me like that? I don't care if you're on or off. If a customer asks you for help and asks you to do something, you do it. If I ain't getting paid, I ain't doing shit. And we start going back and forth for like a good five minutes. I was making sure to be as disrespectful as possible to my manager until my other buddy who does work there comes up. The whole time, the Karen has a condescending grin on her face as if she's being victorious. Will you walk this associate out? He doesn't work here. What? He doesn't work here anymore. Please walk him out. Well, my buddy finally catches on. Ah, uh, let's go. But, but, but nothing. Go. You don't work here. When this happens, I hear Karen to the side giggling. <laughs> I can hear Karen talking to my buddy about how nobody wants to work these days. So I yell at the top of my lungs, Thanks a lot, Karen! And also add a few more lines like, I hope you're happy, Karen! Go f*** yourself! As we're walking, I'm telling my buddy what happened, and we proceeded to bust out laughing. I decided to wait in a chair by the pharmacy, and wait until Karen checks out. That way I can finish up my grocery shopping. Now we have a story to tell everyone at work tomorrow. That's the most fun I've ever had at the Big Blue. I did eventually get an update from my buddy. He told me about what happened after I left. She thanked him, badmouthed me a little more, then asked him if he can look in the back to see if they had the boxes of brown sugar she was looking for. He tells her a sure thing, ma'am, and he just goes on with the shopping. Apparently when I thought Karen checked out, she actually went to customer service. She inquired about the nice manager that she talked about, and she also inquired what happened to him. He just vanished. Well, apparently customer service told her that she must be mistaken because they didn't have any male managers on duty. Well, apparently she got mad and she called him a liar. Not only that, she decided to use some ethnical slurs when talking to the person at customer service. This store has adopted a zero tolerance policy, mainly because it's had to deal with a lot of bad customers, mainly shoplifters and homeless people trying to camp in the store and hassle other customers for money. So needless to say, she got kicked out of the store. To be honest, that makes the story even better. The other day I walked into a Chick-fil-A. Wasn't really my choice. I gave my wife my order because I had to go to the restroom. 
When I opened the door, I paused to see a woman leaning over with her head on the counter. I had to do a double take because I was checking to make sure I was in the men's room. And actually, I was. I looked at her dumbfounded and I asked, Are you okay? Do you work here? I was wearing a black Star Wars t-shirt, which I was actually sweating through. I had just finished doing some intensive work at the park. Not only that, I was wearing cargo shorts. I looked down to make sure that I didn't just magically change into a red polo and black slacks. Well, I'll be damned. I didn't. So I look at her in the eyes and I say, You're in the men's room. And no, I don't work here. She mumbled something, then she darted past me and ran out. I have to say, that is one of the most bizarre I don't work here lady moments I've had in my life. I went to the store for a few things, like milk, butter, eggs, things like that. I hear the approach of the dreaded Karen. I decided not to look around at her, just in case she is targeting someone else. But no such luck. I felt a sharp jab in my shoulder that told me otherwise. I turned around and gave her the best, for f sake, face that I can muster. I replied with the old I don't work here lady. As I see the manager approach, I realized that my opportunity to do something mean had all but slipped away. So instead, I just point to the manager, speak to him. The manager looks at me and asks, Is she bothering you too? That tells me that she's probably done it to several other people, who have also complained about it. I nod. Mm-hmm. Before Karen can open her mouth, the manager asks her, Can you see what he's wearing? They don't even match the black trousers or the green polo that the staff wears. Which she replies, Well, of course I can. Then the manager asks, So, uh, you're not visually impaired or anything? Blind? Of course not, I'm not blind. I can see what he's wearing, but I want him fired because he's not helping me. And why did you ask if I'm blind anyway? I reckon that if you can't tell that the customer is clearly not a member of staff, which he gestured at me, then you're either blind, stupid, or mad. Well, I guess you're not blind, that's for sure. Well, Karen went beet red and she stormed off. That was the best manager I've met in ages. I was at my local smiley face store, finishing up my purchases at pharmacy, and I overhear some elderly people talking about turmeric, and other ones also talking about not being able to find things. Well, fortunately for me, I know the supplement aisle. It is the most horribly organized section in the entire store. I'm a very organized person and a librarian, so I'm pretty meticulous when it comes to organization and finding things. And fortunately for them, I know pharmacy like the back of my hand. I've got super sensitive hearing and I just can't turn them away. It's kind of painful for me to watch elderly folk hobbling around trying to find things, especially when they go up to the pharmacist and all they get is a hand gesture and a very generic, vague answer. So every time this happens, like this occasion, I just stop what I'm doing, find the turmeric or whatever things they need to find and help them get what they need. This time it only took me like two minutes or less. I might not work there, but love in action is kindness, and to be honest, that's our job all the time. Thank you guys for joining me for this edition of I Don't Work Here, Lady. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I know the last one wasn't really funny. I just think it's important. I think it's a great thing to do. I think that would be a good challenge for everybody. Keep your eyes open. If you see someone who needs help, or can anticipate someone needing help, I'm not saying being awkward and just, you know, step in there and try to help when it's not needed. I've done that before. It can be awkward. But hey, anything worth doing is worth doing bad, right? Again, thanks for joining me. I want to give a special thanks to my patrons. Thank you all for being very patient with me. I know I've been taking a long time getting stuff done, trying to get my sleep schedule together. It's been weird. Like, I didn't sleep at all the night before. At all. Probably like 30 minutes at most. But unfortunately, instead of being able to do stuff, you're like so tired that you still don't want to do anything. So it's kind of like a wasted time. I guess I should have just did something anyway, but oh well. Thank you guys again for joining me. And until next time, this is Dallas signing off.